So Bless Online is releasing very soon and a lot of people are looking towards this game because there are pretty much no other MMOs being released in any given time. As we all know as fans of the MMO genre, MMOs are a dying breed and I know there are a lot of people out there who are looking for Bless to be their next MMO experience and I say more power to you. And as a matter of fact, I've actually done a fair amount of research on the game. I've actually made a video about Bless Online before, and I had rather negative impressions about the game previously. And, uh, well, <laughs> I'd be lying if I said they haven't changed. Uh, I'll just repeat what I said in my previous videos for those of you guys who didn't watch them. I just don't think that Bless looks that fun. It doesn't look that inspired. It doesn't look that interesting to me. But that's just looks. I, I could be wrong. Like I said in the video, I have no problem if I am wrong. I hope I am wrong. But from what I can tell, it just doesn't look that good. And when a game doesn't look that good, usually it isn't good. But the big problems about Bless Online and a lot of issues I'm starting to see are coming from the development team and the way they discuss this game and the way they handle it so basically there was an early access package for bless online which gave you which gave you a lot of perks and things like that and it costed two hundred dollars now i cannot believe that these guys actually had the balls to actually offer something uh, to a market for two hundred dollars like who, who do they think they are but anyways they offered it for 200 bucks you don't have to pay for it obviously it's an optional price market but after some complaints from the community, they actually had the um, the decency to decrease the price, but they only decreased it by 50 bucks, so it's still $150. Now, even even but Black Desert's creator Pearl Abyss had the decency to make their highest package $100, a package I purchased, I will admit, for $100. But at the time, I believed in Black Desert, and I see a lot of people believing in Bless. But just like Black Desert, there are already signs of pay to win in Bless on online whether or not you choose to believe them uh, that they are pay to win is completely up to you but in my opinion they definitely are so check this out you get 20 percent more experience if you have a premium membership so that's the subscription fee that comes with the beta buy to play model you get more experience some say that oh well there's a cap in the game unlike black desert so therefore that's not that big of a deal i can kind of agree with that depending on how long it takes to get to the cap i suppose that is a reasonable assumption to make however when you start talking about getting 20 percent more gold now you get into something else this person is able to achieve more gold than me 20 percent more gold than me just because they paid money by by doing the same exact thing that's a 20 percent increase in their efficiency and grinding just from paying money now i don't know about you but that is definitely pay to win in my opinion and i'm sure that's the same in other people's opinion not only that but you also get a marketplace tax reduction uh for paying this now people from black desert may not see this as much of an issue because they were willing to purchase value packs for months and months and months and value packs pretty much did the same exact thing but at the end of the day it is definitely an event is that you are receiving from buying this do not pretend like that is that is no there is no advantage and from what i can tell this is the only um definite example of a potential for pay to win in bless online that the developers are open to sharing with the community the cash shop is still aroused in a lot of mystery that they are not trying to to tell us and that that, that should tell you something that they're willing to hide their cash shop um, this isn't the first developer to say that there won't be any pay to win features in their game and I'm not saying that you shouldn't play a game just because it has pay to win in it what I'm saying is you should pay attention to what a developer tells you if a developer tells you to your face that a game won't have pay to win in it then two seconds later gives you an example of pay to win well then I don't know what to tell you some people tend to argue that this is not pay to win this is just an advantage and that is what pay to win in is at its core it's not it's not any pay to win means if you purchase it it's cosmetic for example fortnite fortnite has no pay to win in it you know why because everything in fortnite is simply cosmetic you may look cooler than another person but at the end of the day you are getting no advantages your guns are not doing more damage you're not going to get more loot you're not going to get better loot just because you paid money there's absolutely no advantage and the game community respects and admires and is happy to dish out money for a game that follows that type of business model because it respects the the uh, integrity of its own video game and that goes a long way when it comes to customer relations it's a very simple concept now the thing that 
like I said earlier, it's okay to be a pay to win game. If you want to be a pay to win game, just go ahead and admit it. A lot of people enjoy pay to win games. Look at the mobile market. The mobile market is booming right now. And that's because pay to win is much more accepted in the mobile market. And I still consider pay to win to be a shady business practice. But at the end of the day, when you know that it's pay to win going into it, you sign up for it. Hey, that means you must like spending money on a video game. I have no problem with that. The thing that I'm trying to say is when a game developer tells you from the beginning that it's not going to be pay to win and then they give you an example of pay to win that is a very 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 bad sign i can see black desert all over this thing i can see arc age all over this thing and i'm just trying to tell you guys that are going into it getting your hopes up to not expect this game to be anything less than those games were now if you want to have an enjoyable experience you most definitely can i pretty sure you can play this game without spending a dime other than the cost to get inside of it and a lot of people are requesting me to play this game but i just don't i'm just not sure if i want to give a company like this my money again it's not that i can't afford the game i could easily buy it uh i can just buy the 30 dollars version and play it when it's not on early access anymore but and uh and give you guys my impressions of it because i know a lot of people want me to try this game out and give a review on it but at the end of the day I just can't support this business practice anymore. I just can't support people um, being blatantly manipulative, and it's it's, it's actually it just it just it just it just disgusts me, you know, to my core. So unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna be trying out Bless. Like I said, the jury's still out. Maybe I'll change my mind. Maybe I'll do it just for the sake of my channel. Maybe I'll do it just for the sake of reviewing it for other people who are on the fence about the game because i know the game is receiving a lot of attention now i see it's getting a lot of views on youtube and a lot of people are looking towards this game because it is the only mmo to be released this year uh, from what i can see so it definitely has a lot of eyes on it right now but i just hope that the people that are looking at this game look beyond the uh gameplay and look further into the company because an mmo is uh is it's only as good as the people that run it. It's only as good as the company. It's only as good as the integrity of the company. If you're gonna put your time and effort into an MMO, you definitely want it to be one that uh, has a developer that respects you. And uh, at least that's my opinion. I know that's not shared. Some people just don't care about that kind of thing. And I get that, but this developer has already shown a lot of red flags. And this is, this is just my opinion. Once again, my opinion. Uh, I just wanted to make this video. You guys let me know what you guys think in the comment box below. Uh, it's your boy Hero. See you guys next time. Peace.